Good morning, Kia Ora. I'm Shelby from uh, Fiji, beautiful island of Fiji. Um, I am in, uh, I'm from Suva, Fiji. Okay, I'm on a student visa. I'm a student currently at uh, NZMA and uh, I'm studying uh, health and well-being level four in uh, um, community, yeah, support. Okay, um, on student visa, on level, in level four, uh, you do get uh, walk rights. You, you can walk for 20 hours weekly, yes. And uh, when, it's, uh, when it's your break time, you can go for full, uh, like, yeah, full hours. You can do 40, 40 hours or so, yes. It's a broad uh, topic. You are getting to know the different cultures, different ways, and uh, different approach to people. And uh, we are doing role plays so that we know what is expected uh, from from a role of a support worker. Hi, good morning. Um, by the way, my name is Leslie Hope J. Hukutan. I am from the Philippines. Um, when I arrived here in New Zealand, I am holding a student visa. So, sa ngayon, nag-aaral ako sa NZMA, uh, Manukau Area Campus, and uh, I am studying uh, Health and Well-Being Level 4, um, Community Services and Support Work. Yan yung strand na inaaral namin. Um, yes, yung inaaral ko ngayon na Level 4, um, there is a 20, uh, there are 20 hours work right so that means na while studying you can still do um, like part-time job na in line sa course na kinukuha ko. It's more on learning the culture of people here in New Zealand. So it's more on diversity, There's community support. You need to understand the people or the residents or even your clients. So they come from different places. They have their own cultures. It's more on understanding and respecting the culture of each client. It's more on practical things that are being taught in the Philippines. Because when you go to different countries, they will expect you that you already know those things. And uh, also, you have the skills and uh, experience um, in dealing with people. And I think it's the natural way of us, especially for Filipinos, na very compassionate. With the research that I have, I got good uh, good research and somehow may mga, hindi mawawala yun, negative. But then when I step in here, dito sa New Zealand, pagdating na pagdating ko, I was really in love with New Zealand. Why? Um, I love the people, number one. I love nature. And I think I can say I love everything about New Zealand. I really love nature. New Zealand is for us. And family-oriented. I think that's the best thing here in New Zealand. It's a family-oriented country. Siguro expect less. Mas mabuti yung ganun. Kasi um, sometimes people expect a lot of things. And we did, when they did not meet their expectations, they feel disappointed. In New Zealand, once you are a student, Mm, I can say na mahirap, na maganda, and I can say it's really challenging. Kasi you will learn how to become, eh, ano ba tawag nito? Kung, kung bang yung buhay mo sa Pilipinas is medyo, alam mo yun, easy go lucky, um, you can never leave that here in New Zealand. Kasi everything, expenses and everything are really high. So isa yun na masasabi ko, mataas talaga yung living expenses here. But afford mo yon as long as you work hard. You work hard, and as long as you have the passion of doing things, yun lang. Good morning. My name is Atashna Sherolda, and I'm from Fiji. I had a student visa. Um, I'm studying at NZMA Manukau. Um, since I'm from Fiji, it's a really small country. So when I arrived here, it um, there was a big difference because New Zealand is really big um, compared to Fiji and like I was I was amazed by the scenery it's really beautiful here and um, it's very cultural there's a lot of cultures around here and and um, the, the institute I'm in NZMA they um, really 
um, celebrate every culture. So it's a very multicultural um, country. Um, I'm currently studying um, health and well-being level four, um, community health and support. Um, and yes, I have work rights. Uh, I can work 20 hours a week. Um, since I'm studying health and well-being level for advanced support care, so it um, it deals with um, um, elderly people and looking after them. And in my studies, like um, in the course I'm doing, we do role plays and we uh, see the other scenarios which we will be looking at when we're actually at the workplace. Um, I'd say go for it. Um, life is too short, maybe just give it a try. I'm Cheryl, I'm from Philippines. I'm Christine, I came from Cebu, Philippines. I'm Erica, I'm from Quezon City, Philippines. I first started with a tourist visa, then a student visa now. A um, student visa from the Philippines. I am. I was also um, holding a tourist visa at first and then now I'm on a student visa. We're studying healthcare and well-being level 3. We have to find work and of course visit New Zealand and we know that New Zealand have a great places uh, to visit and my relatives are here and they're helping me out later on if I could find a job and have a better future. So when I arrived here in the New Zealand, so it's it's a culture shock for me because Philippines, you know, it's so hot at the same time, crowded. But when I got here in the New Zealand, oh my God, this is a very peaceful place. So it's a bit of let adjustment, but I'm okay now since they have my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. Um, um, aside from the pristine scenery and the food and the people, I mean, it was just really love at first sight. I've been here before, thrice, to, um, as a visitor as well, so now I've decided to stay longer. Um, before I, my visa is work visa, then I apply for student, I'm still waiting for one, and I'm still under the interim visa, which states that I still could not work because it refers to my previous visa. So I'm still waiting if my conditions now will allow me to work. Well, for me, I'm so blessed because <laughs> I have 20 hours a week. Uh, the immigration officer allowed me to have a work here in New Zealand while studying. But I don't know about this two girls. <laughs> no, I didn't have any working rights. We are in NZMA Pampasana Cow! We are in NZMA Manukau Campus! Um, before going to New Zealand, you should assist first your financial because New Zealand is, even though they have a lot of um, beautiful resources, but it is a very expensive country as well. So the rental here is expensive. Uh, for me, I have 200 and set dollar every week to pay my rental about the food uh, it's not really expensive about the food but it seems the it's just a matter of the yeah, it's rent a matter of, yeah and if you can there's a visa that they are not allowed even you have a student visa there are particular immigration that they don't allow you to go for work yes while studying so yes. you must prepare for your financial so that when you come here you can enjoy your study and see the beauty of New Zealand as well. Okay. Um, before coming here, yeah, of course, you need to check your financial uh, ability to spend the, the tuition, for the tuition fees and everything. But of course, you must know your goals. What are your goals in life? What really do you want to be in the future? So if um, you're not yet decided yet uh, about the things that you want, don't come here easily in a rush. Plan first, set your goals. Okay, next. All right. Um, just be prepared. 
um, if you want to gain qualification, you can enroll in any of the prestigious um, school or university universities here in um, New Zealand and also just uh, prepare your documents and um, necessary funds um, just to stay, I mean, just to thrive here in New Zealand. That's all. Okay. My name is Amanda Majecha. I'm from Zimbabwe in Africa. When I first arrived in here, I came with a visitor's visa, and then now I'm on a student visa. I'm at MZMA, Manukau Campus. I'm studying level three, health and well-being. Um, the main purpose of me coming here was because New Zealand allows um, the people who live here to have anyone come and visit you to take care of you. So I had to come here to take care of my sister. Oh. She wasn't well. So the visa was very quick. They attended to it very quick. It was very prompt. Uh, New Zealand has got um, lovely people, very welcoming, very friendly people. Um, the sinners, uh, the sinner scenes are so beautiful, and I'm loving it so far. Um, I would advise that people they have to plan and research so much, too much research, research, research before you come here first. That's the best advice I can give. I mean, Wu Fan and Zhang, and I came from Hat Long City, Vietnam. I uh, have still student visa already. Uh, my course in New Zealand is healthcare and well-being level three, and that is my Malaka campus. <laughs> <laughs> my expectation when I arrive here, I think it's a good place to studying and working here. Uh, <clears throat> that own a. Uh, about that. Uh, I think they will have to prepare many things for to go here to study because the the because it's it is very expensive here, and they have to plan everything they need to for the study for the work here good morning my name is Shireen Fansel and I am from South Africa I have a student visa I'm studying health and well-being level 4 and it's mental health and addiction I'm allowed to work 20 hours per week and I'm studying full time. New Zealand is a beautiful place with lots of opportunities. Um, I love the trees and nature and the diverse culture. I feel quite safe. Um, yeah. Yes, there are a lot of activities that we're doing. Um, for instance, role play uh, with uh, different um, scenarios and also um, activities like visiting the museum, celebrating different cultures, Maori week, uh, Fiji day. And that is quite interesting to learn about all the cultures and diversities of, of the different students um, in the class as well gives us an opportunity to interact and know each other. I would say do your research, um, have goals in mind, know what you want to achieve. You can speak to different people and um, management at the institutions that do sufficient research and get the correct information before you make the life-changing decision. Yeah, so thank you my family in Vietnam and my brother-in-law and my sister for always helping me. I'd like to shout out to my family which is here in New Zealand, 
my sister, my brother-in-law, the mucus. Hey! And to all my, to my other sibling in South Africa and my son. Yay! Thank you everything for my family here in New Zealand, the Fajardo family, for allowing me to stay here and study here in New Zealand, and the rest of my family in the Philippines. What is the family? Hello. Um, of course, there's some my friends here beside me. <laughs> because, because of them, I will stay in New Zealand. And then I have my aunts here and also, and also my uncle. So I'll say thank you, Tito Job and Tita Perla, for welcoming here in New Zealand. Hi to Galang family and to the Langin family who am I staying here with now in uh, New Zealand. Galang family yung family ko yun sa Pinas. Shout out to my children, Hisham, Alia, and Jolio back in South Africa. My wonderful husband and my family. Hello to my families in Fiji and to everyone who helped me throughout uh, my journey and uh, uh, making my uh, trip uh, possible and helped me um, making this journey a successful one so far so far and uh, please follow your dreams and uh, make it true and walk towards it uh, walk smarter um, don't walk harder just walk smarter so that we can uh, succeed in life that's my advice to everyone thank you Shout out sa aking family dyan sa Pilipinas, sa aking asawa, hi Han, and sa aking tatlong mga anak, Gwen, Vince, and Gian, sa aking mga parents, and of course, sa mga friends and relatives ko, and most especially sa mga taong tumulong sa akin, hi sa tita ko sa Canada, and uh, sa mga tumulong sa akin throughout my journey and of course yung teacher ko sa sa Tesda I mean sa Northgate shout out Northgate Learning Institute sa aming place so kay Sir Jeg Sir Jeg ang dami kong natutunan sa na I can say na nadala ko talaga dito kay Ma'am Syke and kay Ma'am Lindsay and also sa aking mahal na mahal na si Tokyo hi Tokyo miss nakita <laughs>